Farmall Farming. Behind those words is one of the greatest ideas in all the history of agriculture. Future generations looking back on our life of today may pay as great a tribute to the Farmall tractor as do we to the reaper. Both are true emancipators. The reaper released man from hand labor in the harvest. The Farmall tractor freed him from the drudgery that is inseparable from slow animal power. Here are glimpses of the largest tractor factory in the world. It is the International Harvester Company's tractor works in Chicago, one of the three plants building McCormick Deering tractors today. The scenes to follow will give you some faint idea of the tremendous activity that must come into play before a tractor is ready for the field. In this vast laboratory of industry, skilled minds and hands convert the simplest of raw materials into the beauty and utility of modern machinery. From white hot molten metals to polished steel, through massive operations and ever vigilant inspection, the farm all advances, taking on familiar shape and form. You will see it emerging finally at the loading platform, ready to travel afar to years of profitable service in the corn belt of the Middle West and the cotton fields of the South, to destinations innumerable throughout the world. Nearly 200,000 such tractors have gone out from the factories to the farms. Soon, a fifth of a million farmers will have adopted the farm all system. That is a gauge of the success of the farm all idea, a success that is now only in its beginning. The basis of farm all success is the fact that it was the original, true, all-purpose tractor, and that it today offers the farmer not only a perfected farm power plant, but equipment to use with it for all his farming operations, that drawbar, belt, and power takeoff. Farm all success is further guaranteed by high quality standards of manufacture. Users of McCormick Deering equipment may be certain that this rule is never forgotten in any harvester plant. The farm all is always a McCormick Deering tractor. If at any time you are shown a general purpose tractor that does not bear the name McCormick Deering, you may be sure that it is not a farm all. Today, this tractor is available in three sizes, and that is further reason for the growing popularity of the farm all system of farming. Every farm power need is ideally met by one of the three farm alls, the three plow F30, the two plow F20, or the new farm all 12, which you will now see in a score of everyday farm operations. Anybody south of the Mason and Dixon line knows what this man is doing. Middle busting or listing 10 acres a day with this F-12 buster is just a fair day's work. Wouldn't that give a cotton mule a headache? And if you want to plant on the bed, it's easy to equip the buster with a planting attachment. The wheel in the furrow runs right down the center, accurately spacing the bed. You can set the rear wheels for anywhere from 44 to 79 inch tread. Here's a cotton planter they're going strong for in Texas. It is primarily a cotton planter, but it will also plant corn, pepper, and other seeds. Runners and press wheels can be supplied instead of the wheels and covering shovels shown. Those single rim wheels on the tractor are just the ticket for sticky gumbo soil. They clean themselves. And remember, that tractor is probably using less than a gallon of fuel an hour. Here's one of the big reasons they call them farm alls. This is the finest cultivating tractor you ever saw. 20 acres a day and a swell job, whether it's the first time over or the last. That little tractor just rambles right along. You don't see it weaving sideways to grab a juicy stalk, and a horsefly is plumb out of luck. The operator can give his whole attention to the rows ahead, which is one of the reasons why he can really do better work than can be done with horses. The patented triple control feature, guiding the tractor, shifting the gang, and braking either rear wheel for a short pivot turn, makes it easy to cross-cultivate checked rope. With the number 12 seven-foot mower, this tractor will cut from 20 to 30 acres a day. Watch it turn this corner. Farm all 12, because of its low fuel consumption, is a wonder in the hay It provides power to cut, rake, head, load, haul, and put the hay in the mow. Here you see it with a 12-foot sweep rake, a speedy means of bunching or moving to stacks. 
This is a good combination for the grain field, too, for hauling shocks to stack or thresher. A hundred and ten in the shade? It's all the same to the farm all. When horses are dropping with sunstroke, this cool running power pulls the binder right along. This man is using his old horse binder, and he's doing a good job. Of course, with a tractor binder, the binder mechanism is operated by the power takeoff. In heavy grain, the tractor can be slowed down without reducing the power takeoff speed, which prevents choking the binder. This little job is powered by a real international 3 by 4 inch 4 cylinder engine. Here is economical power for the corn binder, or the one row pull type corn picker. The handy manual governor control gives steady engine speeds of 1400 down to 900 revolutions per minute. This scene shows a little tractor operating the ensilage cutter. The smooth, steady flow of power is a constant satisfaction to the F-12 owner. Whether it's grinding feed, shelling corn, pumping water, sawing wood, operating the hay baler, or what have you, the Farm All 12 lives up to its reputation for being the biggest little tractor ever built. Just think of operating all day on barely 10 gallons of fuel. And the tractor's always on the job when it's wanted, always full of pep. It never gets distemper, never breaks a leg. And if you should drive it into a barbed wire fence, it would be just too bad for the fence. And so, we draw to the close of this pictorial story of farm all utility. By car loads and train loads, these tractors are moving from the factory to the farm. As you review in your mind the many operations we have seen the farm all handle here, think what this nimble, many-sided power will mean to you. Imagine it working the year round on your own farm and try it out for yourself one of these days. Get into the seat, drive it, and you'll feel that sense of new control and new power the Farm All 12 brings to every owner. Go to the McCormick Deering dealer for this tractor. Remember that if it isn't a McCormick Deering, it is not a Farm All.